to better visualize it on the pad right now. And in less than a minute, we should see the strong back clamp arms located beneath the fairing opening up shortly. After they've opened up fully, you'll see the strong back, which you can sort of make out next to the rocket, move, start moving away from the vehicle. And the strong back, also referred to as the TE, or the transporter erector, is the large structure that sits next to Falcon 9. And the transporter rector is used to raise the vehicle into its vertical launch position. We also use it to route umbilicals, power, and telemetry to both the vehicle and payload until they're ready to go on their own internal power. And currently at T minus three minutes and 25 seconds, the range is ready to support. And even though there's fog at Vandenberg, the weather is looking great for an on-time liftoff of 8.57 p.m. Pacific time. The teams are currently tracking no issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. And coming up next at T minus three minutes, we should hear that stage one has completed its liquid oxygen loading. Stage one lock load is complete. At T minus two minutes and 47 seconds, the Falcon 9 first stage is now fully loaded with RP-1 and LOX, and we're now awaiting completion of LOX loading on the second stage, about 38 seconds from now. Although it's hard to see due to tonight's fog, there are white clouds circling around the vehicle, and those clouds are the chilled gas above the LOX tank liquid surface that we vent overboard to maintain pressure in the tank as needed. And when that gas comes out into the California air, the humid and moist air condenses into clouds and water. And coming up next, we should hear a call out that LOX loading is complete on the second stage. Stage two, LOX throwback. And the booster or first stage of the rocket that you see on screen is flying for its fifth time today. And after liftoff and stage separation, this booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently stationed stage two, locks load is complete. Which is currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. And as you just heard, Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with its one million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. Gas launch close off. And coming up next, we should hear a call out, up, call out over the nets, updating us that Falcon 9 is in startup, meaning that the flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. We can expect that to happen in about T minus one minute. Falcon 9 is in startup. And we just heard the call out that Falcon 9 is now in startup. In a few seconds, we should hear our launch director, or LD, give us the final go for launch. LD is go for launch. As you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for takeoff. Let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 15 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Seconds. T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engines full power, and liftoff of Starlink. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one chamber pressure is nominal. At 
T plus 30 seconds, F-9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base at 8.57 p.m. Pacific Time. And the next major milestone coming up is Max-Q, which is when the vehicle Power experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. As you just heard, Falcon 9 is traveling supersonically, meaning it is going faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there you just heard the call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses that it will see during its flight today. And we are about one minute away from a series of events, being MECO, stage separation, SCS-1, and fairing separation. MECO stands for main engine cutoff, which is when all nine Merlin engines will shut down in preparation for stage separation. And during stage separation, pneumatic pushers will separate the first and second stages, and the first stage will begin its journey back to Earth, while the second stage will light its Merlin vacuum engine, making second engine start one to propel our Starlink satellites to their planned orbits. And shortly after, the fairing halves will separate and fall away from the vehicle to later be recovered. Let's keep an eye out for these events happening in pretty quick succession, about 20 seconds from now. Miko. Stage separation. In back ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko, stage step, and SCS-1. Separation. We also just had confirmation of successful fairing deployment. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel Go Beyond. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven and flying for their sixth, sixth time tonight. And the next major milestone coming up is entry burn on the first stage, which is one of the two burns it'll go through to prepare for landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. There you heard that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. And currently the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, of course I still love you. And the MVAC engine attached to the second stage is continuing its burn, which will last for about another five minutes. And on the left side of your screen, we have some super faint views of our first stage as it's making its way back to land. And on the right side, we have our MVAC engine, which is performing as expected. Both vehicles continue to follow a nominal trajectory. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 54th mission just this year and 253rd mission overall. An entry burn on the first stage will be coming up in a few minutes from now.
both stages are on a nominal trajectory. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. Both vehicles following a nominal trajectory. In addition to our live use of the MVAC engine on the second stage, we also have live telemetry for our first stage with altitude and speed being shown in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. And the 15 satellites on tonight's mission will join the rest of our Starlink constellation, which is now delivering high-speed, low-latency internet to over a million people around the planet. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's stage a call out. FTS has saved. There's a call out for stage one entry burn startup. And the stage one, which we also call the booster, has now ignited engines one, five, and nine to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And you just heard the call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. And coming up next will be SECO, or second engine cutoff, where the MVAC engine on our second stage is shut down. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Where the second stage is shut down and the Starlink satellites enter their planned orbits. Stage one transonic. Seco. And we heard the call out we were waiting for for Seco one. We're now waiting for confirmation of nominal orbital insertion. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And this Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for its fifth time. And we also have confirmation of nominal orbital insertion for our 15 Starlink satellites. And today's landing marks our 215th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of second engine cutoff and first stage landing, that wraps up our coverage for now. And as a note, due to the lack of ground station coverage at the time of payload deploy, we likely won't be able to confirm until a bit later. So if you're interested, check out the SpaceX social media accounts for updates. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again soon.